If you want to use the custom fonts option included in Btheme and upload the fonts directly onto your server, please continue watching this video tutorial. First, let's log in to our WordPress admin dashboard and then click on Theme Options from the Btheme menu item located in the left side menu. Now go to Fonts, Family. Here you can change the typography for your entire website. The fonts you can choose from are loaded using the Google Fonts API. If you do not want to load these fonts from external sources, or you want to use a font that is not in the Google Fonts repository, you can add them to your media library and use the custom font option. And we can see that this pre-built website called Agency 5 is using the Rubik font for the big headings. Let's say we want to use a custom font for these types of headings. We first need to download the font and upload it to our media library. For this video tutorial, we have downloaded the Roboto Slab font, which we got from Google Fonts. Most times, the file type you will download will have the extension .ttf. The font type we recommend is .woff. You should upload and use it on your website without any issues. If you do have a .ttf font file, don't worry, you can use online font generators to change it to .woff. We'll leave a link to a font generator in the video description. If you are experiencing issues with uploading font files into your WordPress media library, please use the Disable Real Mime Check plugin. We'll leave a link to this plugin in the video description as well. Okay, now when we have the font in our media library, we can continue setting it up. Go to Theme Options, Fonts, Custom. Here you can upload up to two custom fonts. We'll cover adding one of them since the process is the same for both. First, name your custom font. Remember to use a unique name. Since we're adding the Roboto Slab font, we will name ours My Font Roboto Slab. This name will be easy to find on the list and it will not collide with any other font names. Now choose the font file from your media library and once you're finished, scroll down to Save Changes. After that's done, we need to go back to Fonts, Family, and find our custom font on the list. It should be at the top and here it is. Let's select it, Save Changes, and check out if it works. To do that, let's open the home page. Great! The font has been changed to our custom one. To be sure, let's use the inspector tool and see if the font family is pointing to our font. As you can see, the font we are loading into this H2 heading is My Font Roboto Slab. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.